When a pressure is applied on a pinned domain wall, there are two possible outcomes. One is that the pinning strength is too strong compared to the wall energy, then the domain wall will bend. So this is like a, a balloon effect. So cost of increasing the wall area is small compared to the, uh, the gain that we have by pinning the wall. The second scenario is that the wall moves in a planar manner, breaking away from the pinning side because uh, before it has a chance to, to bend because the cost of increase in domain wall energy is too high. So we will talk about these two scenarios. So let's write down what we just uh, discussed under the application of a pressure on a pinned domain wall there are two possible outcomes the first one is shown here uh, the the wall is still pinned and basically it expands uh, like a balloon so the first outcome is if the pinning strength is high compared to the wall en uh, energy The domain wall bends and because the cost of increasing the wall area is small, is negligible compared to the the cost of deepening and two uh, the wall moves in a planar manner because it breaks away from the pinning site before it has a chance to bend. So the cost of increasing the wall area is too high. Okay, so let's do a quick uh, calculation for a 180 degree domain wall we talked about the pressure acting on the wall force over area was 2 mu 0 ms dot product with h so ms h cosine theta theta is the angle between magnetization and the external field and the potential energy of the pinning potential is EP as a function of X. So if I apply a critical field at a critical field, field value that we call depinning field, a maximum force is exerted on the wall. So you can recall this pressure on the wall uh, when we talked about uh, applying a magnetic field 
you can see that uh, the the pressure acting on the wall was 2 mu 0 ms dot product with h so uh, this uh, maximum force we can calculate the maximum force per area is uh, 1 over the area So if we go back, uh, you will remember that this was uh, the force per area is minus 1 over area dE total dx. But what I called uh, the uh, energy uh, EP, the potential energy, is already the one that is divided by the area. So uh, therefore, this is going to be equal to just... Uh, minus DEP DX maximum value so the critical uh, field will have a value F max over the area A divided by 2 mu zero ms cosine theta and for f max i'm going to substitute dep dx maximum value so the critical field will be equal to um, minus one over two mu zero ms cosine theta uh, times the area dep dx maximum value so as an example uh, let's think about the following uh, pinning potential ep of x is uh, e max sine 2 pi x over l so that's basically this uh, type of potential energy profile so you can see that it goes through uh, x equals 0 ep is equal to 0 with a wavelength of l so if i look at the maximum value of dep uh, dx maximum value uh, with the minus sign this is going to be a uh, minus 2 pi e max over l and therefore the critical field i will calculate is uh, minus 2 pi e max over 2 mu 0 ms cosine theta times a so this is basically going to tell us the direction of the magnetic field the minus sign so this is minus e max uh, pi divided by uh, mu zero so there is also an a here uh, l here so it's e max over pi l mu zero ms cosine theta times a so l would be here the distance between pinning sites okay so in magnitude so we would have uh, this uh, magnetic field critical field which is called the depinning field acting on this uh, domain wall to break away from these uh, pinning sites so basically uh, these will be our Barkhausen jump so when we have this magnetic field applied the, it will be dipped from uh, one pinning site and then it will move to the next pinning site etc okay so uh, when we have a, a domain wall that is pinned in between two pinning sites when we apply magnetic field uh, the if the pinning strength is too strong the domain wall may just 
uh, bent uh, or if the pinning strength is not that strong and the magnetic field is high enough it may break away from the pinning sides and start moving for a 180 degree domain wall the pressure acting on the wall is 2 mu 0 ms dot h this dot product and uh, as we have shown uh, previously in the uh, in our discussion here since the energy was uh, negative 2 mu 0 ax ms dot h we have taken the derivative and with the minus sign we obtained uh, the force per area the pressure to be 2 mu 0 ms dot h so we use this uh, uh, result for the force per area and at a critical depending field a max maximum force will be exerted it, it will be minus DEP DX uh, maximum uh, so um, the critical field we will obtain from here will be F max divided by A divided by 2 mu 0 ms cosine theta and what is that maximum uh, force it is uh, DEP DX maximum with a minus sign uh, because the force the uh, conservative forces are related to the potential energy with minus the gradient of potential energy so if this is our potential energy profile so EP of X let's say it's a, a sinusoidal uh, potential uh, so we can see that the potential energy is increasing between two pinning sites so this is my first pinning site this is my second pinning site here um, I can calculate the critical field for this configuration as E max pi over L mu zero ms cosine theta multiplied by the wall area uh, 